Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again. Welcome to episode one, three, four, I think, of the Twitch career mode. I just accidentally, if it, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, skip skip forward a few minutes to where we actually load the stream up in the background. But uh, I actually, I just accidentally clicked start streaming when I was recording the little uh, preview video to go up on YouTube. So rather than just hitting uh, record offline, like locally, and record me saying I'm up, I'm live now, follow the link, etc. I accidentally streamed for like 30 seconds. I was live for like 30 seconds doing my in my normal YouTube notification video bit and then went offline again because I had to hit stop streaming. Darren0873 subscribed for three months in a row. Thank you very much, Darren. I appreciate that. Yeah, I accidentally streamed for 30 seconds rather than just recording locally when I was doing the um, recording the little preview video. So um, that's why there was a little, that's why some of you are a little bit confused in the chat. Uh, but let me, let me tweet out. Let me tweet out. Go. I'll tweet it out. I'll tweet it out. Wah, 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 wah. Today, obviously, we'll be doing the subscriber giveaway as well. So that will get done around about half past nine ish. Ish. Biffy underscore Alan just subscribed. Thank you very much, Biffy. So bored. Have you subscribed before? Pretty sure I recognise the. Pretty sure I recognise the username. Have you subscribed before, or donated before, or done something in the stream before? Pretty sure I rec like I say. Pretty sure I recognise the username. Oh, just need the desk. Uh, is a resub. I thought it was. I charge it was. Right, let's load the game. And let's get going. Do, 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 do. That's going to bump us back up to 120, I think, isn't it? If it's a resub that hasn't gone through as just a general resubscription. So I need to update my overlay. What's all Oh, v, v Thunder 28 resubscribed for a third month in a row. Thank you very much. We'll drop the sub pipe for you in the chat as well. It's all going off. Three resubscriptions in the first two minutes. <laughs> I very much appreciate the support. Let's update the overlay, shall we? Up to 120. I think the highest we got was 136, wasn't it? I think that's the highest I've ever gotten. Right, so how many games are left? Oh, still quite a few. Port Vale, Oldham, Chesterfield, Burton, Peterborough, Sheffield United, Colchester, Wigan. We are currently in the playoffs, but only just. And Coventry have a game in hand. Actually, a lot of teams have a game in hand, so I'm not sure how we're going to get on, you see. We've got another game on the Monday. Be the Easter weekend, won't it? End of March. <laughs> because I'm poor. Fleetwood have sacked their manager. We played Fleetwood, didn't we? Have we played Fleetwood? Did we draw 1-1 with Fleetwood? Schedule Fleetwood. We did. 
We did draw one one with Fleetwood. Burton of Hyde. Brian Dean, his manager. He took over at Cambridge in the other save, didn't he? In the second save. Uh, he's unhappy about his training workload. Well, get over it, mate. Uh, Lone list Brad Abbott. Brad Abbott, I agree. Uh, nope. Yes. Oh, God, he's awful. He's only 16, so... Otis Khan. Hmm. Yeah, go on then. Loan. Offer contract to Adam Davies. I can't really be offering contracts to people at the minute. So I haven't got the money to be able to do so. That's the only problem. Offer Matty Templeton for loan. I don't mind doing that. Uh, no, I'm not going to move him into the squad. We'll move from the under-18s. Jack Cowgill should be moved down. No, I, I like just having him... There, but I will make him avail I'll make him available for the reserves. Calgill will remove him from the loan list. But uh, available for under twenty one squad forty five minutes. I'll do the same for Jack McCourt as well. Because he doesn't neither of them play that much for me. And was it George Smith or George Williams? One of the Georges. Oh well. We'll just leave it like that for now. Nick Townsend, he's 21. He could play for the reserves as well. Flying Piano Lid resubscribed for eight months in a row. Thank you very much. Cheers, bro. It's all going off. All the resubscriptions tonight. You can tell it's the end of the month, can't you? I don't think that changes our overall subtotal. No, it's still at 120. Uh, Leal of Hyde Balp. Is their manager? Balp. Do I listen to ABBA? Uh, no, because it's not 1980. Conor Hurahane, I agree. Conor Hurahane is really good. I have watched WWE in the past, but I'm not an avid fan. I've got a few friends that are avid fans. Josh Katz, 22, resubscribed for four months in a row. Thank you very much, Josh. It's all going off. It's all going off tonight. Still, that just leaves us at 120, though, I think. Just everybody's resubscriptions are coming through. I'm not an ABBA hater. I just, I can't, it's just, they're not my go-to band to listen to today. <laughs> When I hear ABBA, I just automatically think of someone's, like, a wedding. That's what you hear at weddings. It's bloody ABBA. Bloody ABBA everywhere. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to play Packwood at right back and then Mawson and Mark Roberts. And George Smith at left back. Ryan Williams on the right. So everybody's... Struggs right now for fitness, Scowan. I bet it was a ball winning though. On the left. Hamill. Although Marley Watkins did well from right mid, didn't he, in the last game? Never mind. We'll do this. Sam Williams there. Uh, defensive forward. Townsend. No. Tanga. Uh, James Bree. Goss. Is Foley any good? Foley's alright, isn't he? It's nothing special, but he's alright. Um, Brownhill and Fletch. Where is Brownhill on loan from? Preston. I'd rather use my own my own players than players that are on loan, though, initially. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. 
point. They're playing a defensive 4-4-2. I don't feel confident in my abilities, alright? Oh, someone's got to... Dude. <laughs> someone's got to have something to say. Okay. Maybe I'll have to look for an assistant manager that can help me with opposition instructions because I have no idea when it comes to opposition instructions. Just go ignore the praise, you just play a natural game and we'll be fine. We'll see how we get on. Here, away from home against Port Vale. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen with the Lee's job in real life. Their chairman is just mentor. Just will sack people left, right and centre without even thinking of the consequences. Uh we started unemployed, Super Dragon Boy. We started unemployed with a previous experience set at professional footballer at a regional level. And um, we started with the Continental B license. And we started unemployed, and obviously we found ourselves here at Barnsley for our first job. And how we haven't scored so far in this game is beyond me. Right, never mind. I've no idea whether I got your DM on Twitter or not, bro. If you want to get in contact with me on Twitter, the best thing to do is to actually tweet me, not, not DM me. If you actually tweet me, then even if I don't have time to reply, I can at least click on the favour button so that you know that I've seen it. So actually tweet me rather than direct messaging me because I don't, I don't check my DMs every day. Uh, no, we went with regional level, Tom. Don't make a change. This isn't necessarily going the way I wanted it to so far. Why is Connor looking nervous? Don't look nervous, Connor. Let's put Brown Hill in. Um, let's assertively encourage. Uh, does the director of football have an impact? It, it can do. It depends on what roles you let them influence. A director of football, the way I use a director of football, is to help me sign staff. But they can help you sign players as well. But I tend to use you guys to help me sign players rather than a uh, director of football. Pretty disappointed that we haven't got a win here unless we score now, which we don't look like we're going to do. We've absolutely dominated this game, but we couldn't score. The Germans will probably win Euro 2016. A nil-nil draw. We could have done better there. Should have won that, lad. Seem to lose confidence. Oh, come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan! You are actually really good. I'll just tell him that uh, I'm happy with improvement in the second half. There we go. We're still in the playoffs, but we're two points ahead of Coventry and they have two games in hand on us. A win here would have been absolutely crucial, to be honest. Cambridge lose 4-1. Great. Adam Hamill. What? Why are all his stats dropping, supposedly? But very good performances as an attacking midfielder. As in, at Cam. 
Well, I'm using him at, as a winger at the minute. Your move. Hold him next. What do you mean Germany have too many star players missing? The majority of the squad's fit, isn't it? They're not taking Royce. Joachim Lowe didn't want to take Royce. As far as I'm aware, he left Royce at home. Purposefully left him out of the squad. Barnsley contract set to expire. Brilliant. Loads of them. Well, hmm. Kind of already over budget, lads. Gonna accept 700. Good. Right, he's accepting what he's already on. We've triggered the extension for Foley. George Williams. Uh, I can't afford to give you extra money. You're on 600. You're gonna have to accept 600, I'm afraid. I'm not going to give you a yearly wage rise of 20% either. Oh, just feckin' sign it, will you? The club has money, it's just that it's not available to us right now. Jack McCourt, you're on £800, you're on 925 uh, no, you're not getting that. Just sign it. Just sign it. Uh, Brad Abbott. I could probably use that £700 better elsewhere, to be honest. Uh, Jack Cowgill, he was only 19. <sighs> Alright. He wants 400. Removing that. Okay, he's already on 400. He wants 400. That's good. If you only want 700, then I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it to you. No, you know what? I'm just going to walk away. We'll let that £700 just add itself onto our budget itself. Right. You want £1,000. Okay, well, that's not going to happen, is it? You can have 700 750 You either sign up or you don't. And 500 Fine. Suit yourself. Youth prospects. Sam Hammer supposedly is going to be decent, but I'll leave. Um, let me go into. Hey, 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 staff responsibilities. Right, contract renewals. Youth team players contracts to extend and handles negotiations. Fuck me. Yeah. Took me by surprise. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Um, I'll leave that to my under 18s manager. There was something I wanted to. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Assistant manager. I'm going to set his responsibilities. Uh, I can't remember where, how to do it. Responsibilities. Uh, 
first team, yeah, handles opposition instructions. It's set to Tommy Wright, but he just he's not apparently he's not confident enough to do it. How long has he been here? A year. Hmm. I'd be tempted to maybe look for a new assistant manager in the summer. We did get a donation though. Let me quickly check that. If Twitch alerts will actually load for me. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's a pound donation from Bradmate17. It says, I chose you've made me quite a fan of Football Manager now. Haven't previously, see haven't previously seen much of it. Enjoying the streams a lot. Thank you very much for the donation, Brad. Glad you're enjoying uh, Football Manager. It is one of the best games you can play, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, end of current financial fair play period, is it? It's weird that, that would happen in April, although it, maybe it's financial year rather than uh, the actual football year. Uh, Oldham, where are Oldham? Oldham are 12th. Now, Coventry haven't. Coventry drew their game in one of their games in hand. So if we can win this home game against Oldham, then that will hopefully put us in a solid position. Oldham won the previous game, though. That's the only thing. Right. We played Bree at right back. Packwood at centre back. Alfie Mawson. Yeah, go on then. And Aidan White. Uh, oh, do I play Adam Hamill on the right? We haven't used him on the right yet. Him as an attacking winger. Obviously, going to go Connor Hurrahane and Josh Scowen in the middle because they are the two best players we have. Or do I put Marley there? Swap them around, perhaps? Because Marley did score from the right hand side. And then we'll go Ashley Fletcher and Sam Winnell. But we'll switch him to a target man again. Tanga. Let's go George Williams, Sean Goss, Ryan Williams, Josh Brownhill, and David Foley. David Foley. Oh, they're playing very defensive, though. Come on. Right, assertively. I'm actually going to switch to attacking for this. Why are you looking stressed? Strange. Hey, Jimmy. Mawson's picked up a book in after seven minutes or something silly. Oh, go on, Sammy's still off him, maybe. Go on, Fletch. Oh, God, they such a bad pass. Play in. Oh, that's a bad pass again, but win all. Draws a good save at the keeper. Let's take off pass into space because they don't seem to be able to pass it to each other via space. If they purposefully aim for each other's feet, maybe they'll play they'll play better. Uh Fletch is injured. Great, okay. Well that solves that problem. Put Marley Watkins up top and Ryan Williams out wide right. Uh, I can't say his KFC is my favourite takeaway. Just started at East Fife. Yeah, that is hard work. I'm not surprised. 
Oh, it's a decent first half, we just haven't been that productive in front of goal. Uh, keep playing the way you have and the result will come. Hopefully that will turn them around. Just swap from fluid to flexible though. Rooney, he'll play Rooney in midfield. He won't play Rooney up top. Well, I'd rather play 4-4-2 at this level rather than 4-2-3-1. These, these are our first few months at the club anyway. There's, we're going to do a lot of uh, switching around in the summer. Josh Scowen, that was a great tackle. That's a good cross. Sam Winnell turns it in. Brilliant cross. Rashford's there more for the experience than actual game time. It's the same reason we took Theo to Germany in 2006 for the experience. Just didn't help that Arsene Wenger played him in a position that he wasn't that good at. I think Walcott could have been if he'd have been training there his entire career a really good striker because he was play he played up top for Southampton and he smacked the goals in oh what a save Davies that's brilliant When does uh, doesn't Roy Hodgson's contract run out after Euro 2016, or does it run until Russia 2018? I'm not sure what his contract situation looks like. This game has just been like tennis. The ball just pings from one half of the pitch to the other. Great finish by Dominic Polian, though, unfortunately. Rashford is. We're not taking Rashford to play him. We're taking Rashford for the experience of being at an international tournament. Adam Hamill up top. Uh. Only in on the right. It's almost still around. Buy him tickets then. His contract runs out next July. <sighs> I'm disappointed we haven't won this one. We just didn't make our early pressure play, unless we can get a late goal here. In which I'd still be pretty disappointed with the performance, but at least we could get three points. And it looks like we might be doing just that. Sam Winnell buries that in the bottom corner. Thank you, Sam.
Ryan Williams with two assists. He's definitely going to have to continue to start for me, isn't he? And that free kick should help us get over the line. Yep, we didn't even need to take the free kick. Moves us up into fifth. Although we're only a Coventry one as well, unfortunately. So we're a point clear of Coventry who have a single game in hand. And two points clear of Sheffield United who have a... Uh, no, one point clear of Sheffield United who have two games in hand. And it's obviously only down to sixth, the playoffs. <sighs> bum, 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 bum. Hey, everyone. Cambridge get a 3-1 win, sorry, and are still fourth, but uh, a big gap to the automatic promotion spots. So it's like Cambridge are going to qualify and going to finish in the playoffs. Oh, shit. Fletch is up for five to six months with Achilles tendon problems. Well, we might as well terminate his loan then, shouldn't we? Mightn't we? Uh, can I terminate his loan? Luton has sacked the manager. Rip. Reaction to fan day. Okay, good. Sam Winnell, good. Squad, trading. It won't let me terminate his loan. All right, fair enough. He's only here for another two months and he's injured for six, so he's kind of pointless keeping him here, to be honest, but never mind. Uh, Harry White. Yeah, we need more strikers. <laughs> yes, no. Tooten is out on loan. And he's shit. Or was out on loan. Maris. Did he do anything while he was out on loan? No. Wasn't. Phoenix, Mike Phoenix. Okay. And we've got one pound donation from Saw. It says Rashford to score the winner against France in the Euro final. Heard it here first. I think that will be the first time we hear that, and it will probably be the last time we hear that as well, to be honest. Thank you for the donation, though, Saul. Appreciate that. Chesterfield game's been picked as a fan day as well. I'm oh, great. Loads of sackings in Italy. Do, 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 do. How can Sturridge break his leg? He doesn't drive the car, Beardy. You spelt break wrong there, buddy. You well, you're not spelt break wrong. Technically you spelt break correctly, you've just used the wrong break. YouTube is my only job, yes, Gareth. Unless you count Twitch as... Well, you probably can count Twitch as part of it, but Twitch is only about 15% of my overall income. Uh, there's no point looking at players now, guys, because we're in April. Like, there's no, we're still ages away from the transfer window. So, I'm going to concentrate on the players we have here first before concentrating on looking to improve. We want to know who we want to stay and who we want to leave. 
what level did I do at high school? I didn't go to high school, but at secondary school, I was in top set for everything. I went to school in the UK. I know some schools in the UK are called middle school and high school, but my school was just primary school, secondary school. Yeah, well, Royce missed the World Cup through injury, but he's missing the Euros because uh, Loeb didn't want to take him. Uh, the Flash is finished. Series. The Flash is finished, Biddy. Finished last week. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, well, Ryan Williams did really well. So I can't not select him now. Let's put. I am actually going to put Williams on the left and Hamill on the right. We'll see if they work well the other way around. And then let's put Marley Watkins on as a defensive forward. And so we not actually kind of let's try deep lying instead, rather than defensive forward. Just that he sat a little bit further back. And Isgrove. Actually, let's take Foley out now that Isgrove's back. Put Josh Brown in. Yeah, Flash and Arrow finales were last week, bro. Unless you're watching it on English TV, in which case maybe it is this week. Um, let's say go out there and play a natural game and relax. I don't want them to be. I will play attacking though. Remind me after this game to change to attacking permanently and um, to flexible from fluid. Do 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 do. We've got a corner. We have a score. I watch it. I watch it online after it's been on US TV. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you just get spoilers. Like it comes. It comes out in the US. Or it was coming out in the US now that it's finished on a Tuesday and then I'd watch it online on the Wednesday but I'd have to avoid spoilers for 24 hours which was uh, hard enough in itself let alone having to wait a full week for that yeah Sky, Sky is always behind at, at times when before because it went on a it went on a break in the states for weeks. Like sometimes in the UK we can be five or six weeks behind the states with TV programs like that. So I always just watch it online. That's a good cross. Bury that. Yes, Marley Watkins. Oh uh, yeah, Game of Thrones is uh, broadcast simultaneously. I always watch, stay up and watch it on a well, stay up. I'm up that time anyway. I always watch it on a Sunday night at 2 a.m. or Monday morning, technically, at 2 a.m. rather than waiting until Monday night to watch it. Oh, lovely football. Shame. Put it back and then cross again. The keeper, never mind. Is it painful seeing Mourinho at United? Yes. Can't blame him for going there. Like it's a 
fantastic opportunity as a, for a manager, but it's still painful as a Chelsea fan to see him there. Go on, bury that. Adam Hamill's there, 2 0. How much spare time do I have away from YouTube and Twitch? Uh, none. Pretty much. If I if I need if I need or want spare time for anything, then I have to get ahead on videos and stuff. But I'm pretty much I spend most of my time working. Uh, not that I'm complaining. I absolutely adore what I do for a living. It doesn't feel like work, so it's fine. I just don't have much spare time to do anything other than work. Your save corrupted, dude, that sucks. Especially 20 seasons in, it's mad. Yes, Sam Winnell, 3 0. Uh, I do plan on vlogging a few things. I'm not just going to vlog me going to the cinema with friends because it's pointless considering I don't have a vlogging channel. But I'm going to do some... Like when I go on holiday to Spain, I'll probably vlog a little bit of that. I'm definitely going to vlog at the British Grand Prix in July. And then when I start going back to football, I'm going to vlog that as well. But I'm not going to... I don't have the channel for just random vlogs. Like, I'm going to Nando's in the cinema with friends. I don't have the sort of channel that people would watch that. Uh, last week we watched... What did we watch last week? Oh, Alice in Wonderland. And then the week before that we watched uh, X-Men. I think we're going again this Friday to maybe see uh, we've fallen up. What is it we're going to go see? The good guys, I think. Or missed, or the nice guys. I think the nice guys is what we're going to go and see. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted to go to the uh, Sidemen game, but because I'm going away to Spain and generally... I've got a lot of stuff, I've got a lot of work to do that I couldn't find the free time. Like I could either have gone to the Sidemen game or uh, gone out with friends last Friday and this Friday and obviously I've chosen that this time around. I enjoyed X-Men. It's not as good as... Days of Future Past, but it's still a good film. Let's make a couple of changes. Take Josh Scowl off for Josh Brownhill. And... Put Josh Smith on Braden White. Do I go with the same friends every week? Yeah. I go with the same people. I have like a friend group that built up from when I was going to football. And we're all just kind of growing up together. I'm a little bit older than everybody else. I'm obviously 28 as of a couple of days ago. Everyone else is kind of 24, 25. And a couple of friends that are 30, 31, 32. Like we're all a variety of ages. 
Uh, this is the first season, Brad. We started unemployed, and this is the first season still. We got a job in the February. I try and read as many comments as I can, Jazz, but I obviously have to try and play the game at the same time. I always read my comments on YouTube. Game's lost, that sucks. Reaction to Fan Day, yay. Bumper 12,758. That's decent, actually, considering the average attendance is... You won't be able to quite see this. I think my overlay's in the way. Yeah, the average attendance at Oakwell this season has been 10,200, so we got an extra 2,500 people there for the Fan Day. And, well, I think a 4-0 win is definitely going to encourage people to come back, don't you? I do reply on YouTube, but not to every single comment. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Harry White should be moved down. No, I'm just going to make him... Available for under 21s. Right, tactics. I wanted to make that flexible and that attacking. There we go. Uh, I need to have a fiddle around with different software to get the top donation thing back. It was there on... Because that top donation stood for over a year, I didn't... I didn't ch when I changed software for my normal Twitch alerts. I didn't change uh, that particular piece of software for that particular thing because it seemed pointless at the time. I need to fiddle around with the software, and I'm gonna I'll do it over the next couple of days, like I said yesterday, when I get some free time. Uh, Sean Goss's loan deal is due to end soon. Okay, he hasn't played that much for me or for the team previously. Before he was here, so uh, we'll let him go back. It's fine. We may have to look for loan deals next season as well. Will we end the season today? I don't know. We'll need to check and see how many games we've got left. Oh, Nigel Worthington, jeeps. Oh, that's a nice name. It wasn't he Northern Ireland manager for a while, Nigel Worthington. Yeah, he was. Oh, that was ages ago. I remember him being Norwich manager. And then he was at York. I didn't know. Been unemployed for a bit. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five games left. Mm, we probably won't get them finished today, to be honest. Uh, especially considering if I can uh, get the right thing, email me my subscriber list because we will do the giveaway. Now, hopefully, by this time next month, my new store will be set up so I'll be able to. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? I'll be able to uh, do t-shirts with the giveaways as well, rather than just uh, console codes. But at present... Yeah, let me open this. Um, uh, open with, yes. Here we go. Right. At present, I'm having to just hold off, and it's just the uh, console codes, but hopefully soon I'll be able to offer other stuff. And then let me open a new... Oh, let me open a new tab here and bring that over here as well. And we want to go to www.random... Oh, random. 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 Dot org. Let's make that small. 
Are you going to load? Thank you. And we'll make this small as well, so we can have them side by side. Right, what are we going from? From three, because obviously a username isn't a thing, and I'm not going to win my own giveaway. So we're going from three to 122. Three to one, two, two. Right, I'll quickly have this up on screen, so you keep your eyes peeled for your name. I'm just going to actually, let me get, so I can see the chat in front of me. Oh God, what's going on? Uh, I don't use. I normally use um, Google Chrome, but for some reason I loaded Firefox there. Keep your eye, keep your eye open for your name there. What number you are? Actually, let me. Oh God. Let me quickly tweet out, and then I'll do that. You're one two one, are you? What number is everybody else? Your name will be on there somewhere, so there you are, you're number ninety four. Uh you haven't served SF plays. You may have followed, but you haven't subscribed. Following following on Twitch is the same as subscribing on YouTube. Subscribing on Twitch is different to subscribing on YouTube. There you go. That's the thing. Let's see. Uh, let me get my thing. Me notepad. Uh, what are we? May. May. Come on, pen. Come on, pen. You can do it. May 2016. Uh, £10 code and a £20 code. Or obviously euro or whatever. A dollar or whatever currency you want it in. So we'll do the £10 code first. Let's make that a little bigger so you can see the number as it comes up. Generate first one is three. Wow, okay. <laughs> so, uh, winner of a £10 code is Ariane. Uh, uh, re, uh, uh, Just make sure I DM the right person. And then the second one is a £20 code. Or dollar or euro. And that one is 71. Number 71 is... Ace Gamer 234. Ace Gamer 234. Bink. How can it be rigged? You're watching me randomly select it. Uh, so yeah, Ariane wins the ten pound code, and Ace Gamer two three four wins the twenty pound code. And I will DM you after I finish streaming. Like I say, hopefully next month I'll be able to offer like a T-shirt as well, or a hoodie or something like a T-shirt or a hoodie or a hat. Once my uh, don't say once my uh, new shop is set up, I'm still waiting for sample pieces to come through the post. So I can confirm that the quality of the product is as I want it. But those of you that weren't victorious this time around, uh, best of luck for next month. Thank you for your continued support with your subscriptions and your donations, etc. Uh, last time out against Chesterfield, you played very well. We, uh... Oh, the charm. How do you feel he'll fare in general? Don't have the first clue. How would you... Uh, don't know him but respect him. Don't know him but respect him. Cool. Burton. 10th place Burton versus 6th place Barnsley. Whew. 
how much is the thing? Um, let me check my Skype conversation. I might be able to find uh, the price is. Let me scroll up. Uh, I'm still scrolling. To get prices. Do 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 do. Tees will be eighteen, I think seventeen ninety nine. And hoodies will be. I want to say twenty four ninety nine, but I'm not sure. I can't find the exact figure in my Skype conversation, so I apologise. I'll be able to tell you once I've got these sample pieces, but. Uh, yeah, I think hats are going to be nineteen ninety nine, t shirts are going to be seventeen ninety nine, and then hoodies I think are twenty four ninety nine. It's this. It's the same people that run MGH's shop. So let me check. Actually, let me check MGH's store. Uh, I think my price is going to be similar to Matt's seventeen ninety nine for a t, nineteen ninety nine for a hat, and twenty nine ninety nine for a hoodie. If I can get them a little bit cheaper, I will, but I think they have set prices. The last shirt was uh, a little bit cheaper, yeah, but that was because I was doing everything myself. Whereas um, this company do everything for me. So obviously they, they take a percentage of the profits. Or they take a percentage of whatever. Whereas previous, It's not expensive. It's... Cheaper than a lot of other stuff. Like you, people's people always go, "Oh, it's so expensive," but then don't bat an eyelid at paying twenty quid for a side menti. But I say mine's seventeen ninety nine, and everyone goes, "Oh, it's so expensive." Like it's cheaper than a lot of stuff, or it will be cheaper than a lot of stuff when I get it all set up properly. Uh, right, Ryan Williams on the right. No, Adam Hamill on the right. That worked well, didn't it, last time? Adam Hamill, Connor Hoohane, Josh Scowen. No, cheers. I can't. But apparently, my brain seems determined to start Adam Hamill on the on the left. Sean Goss. Claudius Grove. Uh, Josh Brownhill and Jack McCall. Like you can you can buy t-shirts from shops that are like thirty pound plus. As mine's going to be like half that, and they top it's top quality. Like I. I've got an MGH hat, as you know, and I've got an MGH t-shirt, as you know. So I already know the tees and the hats are of top quality. I'm just waiting for um, the hoodie to come through so I know the quality of the hoodie. And then hopefully the shop will be up. And if everything, if everything sells well, as in the hat, the hoodie and the tee, then I can do other stuff like jogging bottoms or different types of hat or phone cases or like a little plushy football or something like that. I've got ideas. But at present it's just a starting default tee, hat and hoodie. Oh, finish. Mussinio. John Mussinio with a great goal. Yeah, you know, like tracky bottoms. Because I live I live in tracky bottoms. That's all I wear all day, tracking bottoms. Because they're so comfortable.
Uh, Burton are destroying us. Why is this happening? Please sort your fucking lives out, lads. They sorted their lives out. It's all right. It's one one. Uh, no, I don't. That's the benefit of it, Ben. I don't actually have any financial outlay for this new company. For the for the merch, they finance everything and then just take a percentage of the profits. Whereas previously, with the tees I did before, I bought the t-shirts myself. I paid for the printing myself. I paid for all the postage myself. And did all the posting myself, obviously. Well, with help from family. And, like, had all the tees here. Like, I had box upon box of t-shirts. And my wardrobe was just full with t-shirts. But, it was, you know, it was hard work. And I was having to do all the paperwork myself. Like, printing off the, um, the receipts and the order forms. And keeping a copy for... Uh, financial records and stuff like that it was just a, it was a fun experience but I'd rather not have the hassle you know if I can have somebody else do it for me then that's beneficial to me and I can put more of my effort into YouTube The company I'm using, or the company I'm hoping to use, they um, they do MGH's shop, they do Jack Septicai's shop, they do Ali A's online shop, they do loads of big YouTubers, like loads of YouTubers that are a lot, lot bigger than me. I'm very privileged that they they've because they don't work with just anyone. I'm very privileged that they I approached them and they said uh, yes. Because obviously MGH has like 600,000 subs, Ali A's got millions, Jacksepticeye's got million, millions upon millions. And I'm sat here with 150k, like, oh, will you work with me? And they were very kind enough to say yes, so I'm very pleased. Very pleased. Not very pleased about going 2-1 down though, to be honest. That's not very pleasing at all. 20 seconds into the second half, you dickheads. Can we score again, lads? That'd be nice. What network am I with? How do you mean? Like phone network? YouTube network? What do you mean, what network am I with? I have to be a bit more specific, bro. Alex, 1991 Hill just subscribed. Thank you very much, Alex. If you'd like a follow on Twitter, Alex, then let me know what your Twitter handle What? Bleh. Let me know what your Twitter handle is in the chat, and I will follow you. There we go. Well done, brain. Got the words out in the end. Uh, YouTube network, I'm with Omnia. Uh, phone network, I'm with O2. Second half has just been chance after chance after chance for Burton so far. Play better.
Alors, tu roules en bas. I already do follow you, Liam. Uh, no need to apologise, Alex. <laughs> it's just one of one of the sub perks is a follow on Twitter. Like a lot of people have subbed because they wanted to follow on Twitter. Ref, all right, thanks. No, oh god, my vision to them just passing it short there. Senorita, I'm pretty sure I do, Liam. What's your What's your Twitter handle? If I do, I'm I remember following you previously, so it has Twitter has actually unfollowed me from a few people recently without my doing. I had a friend tweet me the other day going, uh, right, unfollow me then, will you? I was like, uh, no. <laughs> Just we equalised! We equalised! It's the same. Oh, I didn't mind the goal was disallowed. Right. Uh, it's the same. Let's see. Apparently I'm not following you. I definitely rec remember following you at least once. <laughs> That's weird. I apologise. It's unfollowed you for some reason. And I don't know why. Well, it looks like we're going to get a defeat against Burton unless we equalise with this free kick. Oh, which we very nearly did. Not good enough, lads. Should we win in that? But now everybody's played the same amount of games and we're still in the playoffs by a single point with four games to go. <gasps> yes, I know. We're disappointing in defeat. No, Sam Warner's out five to six days. Scunthorpe has sacked their manager already. That job was available earlier on in the season. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Everybody's getting sacked. There were so many jobs available earlier. There aren't that many now. Uh, I don't think we'll get all four games played before the end of the stream, no. We might get three of them done. At home against Peterborough. Oh, that was our first defeat. I didn't even think of that. That was our first defeat as Barnsley boss. We took over here with a 1 0 win over Doncaster, and that's the first defeat in the league for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That we went 17 games unbeaten. It's our first loss in charge. We personally went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games unbeaten and lost our 10th. So if I look at my profile... Oh, look, all my, my manager stats have gone up. That's pretty cool. Manager stats have gone up already. We've played 11 games, won 5, drawn 5, lost 1, with a win percentage of 45%. D 
Ladies Grove. I'm going to go ahead and scour one again. And on the left. On the left. Uh, we'll go with Adam Hamill. Right. Might actually need a new formation here. Four, two, three, one. DM wide. Uh, ball winning. Support. Deep line playmaker. Support. Who can play Cam? Josh Brown can play Cam apparently. And then, no, not Harry White. Marley Watkins. <sighs> One thing I wanted to do here actually was narrow it a little bit. We'll have to play 4 2 3 1 here because I've only got one fit striker, one fit first team striker. Uh, we've already done the giveaway. Yikes, it's Mike's. Sorry, bro, and unfortunately you, you weren't a winner. Soz. Soz. That's a word I very rarely use. Uh, the winners were Ariane and Ace Gamer two three four. We are favourites. Peterborough are fifteenth. Give the fans their money's worth. Go and do it, lads. Go and do it. Boom, 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 boom. Bury that. Yes, great finish. That's the great finish, that is. That's amazing. That's amazing, that. It was actually a really good finish. Peter had dominated the chances though, the chance creation. We've had a lot of the ball, but oh, it's a great ball. Bury that, Adam. Yeah. Yes, 2 nil. Let's go. Let's fucking go, boys. Do 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 Oosh, it's the corner. Oosh, it's the corner. And clear away. Thank you. You got promoted with QPR in the first season, second season finishing your Europa League spots, and they have 90 million to spend. Jeeps.
Go on, Marley, you can get there. Well, he has as well. Marley Watkins. Oh, it's dropped straight to Josh Gowan with 3 0 up. Aha, take that, Peterborough. I don't like you. I don't like you. Good save by Anik, but unfortunately, straight to Josh Scone. You're top of the championship with Cambridge after five years. Yes, Ick Green, that's what we like. Paddle? No. Uh, why do I start a new save every time regen start to populate the database? Uh, it, not because regen start to populate the database, just that people generally get uh, tired of a save. Like viewers tend to get tired of a save after five, five plus seasons, so I just start again. Like from a from a viewing point of view, people like to or in my experience, with my specific viewer base, especially considering my viewer base is predominantly FIFA people that like to watch me play Football Manager. They prefer to see me play with real-life players rather than regens. It's just the way that my audience has been over the past few years. Ah. That's not good. Pardon? <gasps> Pardon? Josh Brownhill is injured. Okay, let's put Ryan Williams in at Camlin. Uh, Hamill can play there though. Ah. Oh. Let's do that. Go on, Ryan, you can get there. Good lad. And find a teammate. Or win a penalty. We'll take that. Uh, I did have a job, Ben, but I've been... I had to leave work for, due to poor health nine years ago. And just stumbled upon YouTube as a job. Whilst just trying to find some... Like, I only started it as a hobby because I've been off work and was bored out of my fucking mind for a few years. And then stumbled into YouTube around about 2011. Other than YouTube, I haven't had a job since I was 19, because I left, I left work in 2007 at the age of 19. Due to bad health. But we've just gone 5-1 up. I mean, I'll take it against Peterborough. I wouldn't, there isn't another team in this entire league I'd love to batter more than Peterborough. And to be 5-1 up, I'm pretty darn happy with it, to be honest. Let's put Sean Goss on. Oh, me. What did I do for work? I worked as a technical engineer for an for a telecommunications company called Supura. Ironically, they now sponsor Cambridge United's football kit. Take a five-one win over Borough. Very pleased with that. Oh, ah, no. I thought we'd created a gap, but we haven't. <laughs> Josh Brown is up for two months. No! Oh shit, Josh Scallon got a hat trick. I didn't even realise. Go on, lad. I didn't even know he noticed he got a hat trick in that one. Fucking hell. GG. 
Uh, I can't speak a second language, no. English is my only language. I'd love to be able to speak Spanish or Italian or something like that, but I've never gotten around to trying to learn another language. I did French at school, but I got a C. <laughs> I wasn't very good at it. loan deal to end soon. 2nd of May. I, I may need to extend it two months because of that Josh Scowan injury. Not Josh Scowan injury, Josh Brownhill injury. You'd hate not being able to work. I hated not being able to work. <laughs> the first good five... Well, the, the first 12, 12 months of when I was off, I was all right. Because I was just like, oh, well, maybe it will just, you know, maybe it will it'll go. Because I, I had a minor version of it when I was 16 and I was only ill for about six months so when I came when I came down with it again I was like okay well maybe you know maybe it will go away again quite shortly so the first 12 months or so I was I wasn't necessarily too downheartened by it but years two three four and five probably yeah, years two, three, four, and five were difficult, shall we say. Uh, play Lodi's Grave again. Uh, no, I live at home still, Chaz. Obviously, having not had an income for eight years, I haven't been able to afford to move out. Or well, nine years. I've, YouTube's only provided me with a, a full-time income for the past 12 months. Prior to that, it was just a hobby that I was hoping might actually go somewhere. Turns out it might, but it took a lot of hard work and a long time to actually get to that position. Prior to that, I was just on health benefits. I was just on, um, you know, I couldn't work, so I applied for health benefits. Uh, this is the ninth year, Aviv. In August, it will be nine years since I fell ill, or since, you know, my health turned. Uh, yeah, no pressure. Great, Conor Hurahin got booked after seven seconds. Bloody hell. 
I didn't want to hit that any harder, that was ridiculous. Oh. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult game. <sighs> what was my first ever YouTube video? Um, I think it was footage I filmed on my Blackberry of... Oh, we've equalised the buzzing. Footage of films on my Blackberry of a Paramore concert was probably my first ever YouTube video. I don't have any transfer targets for the summer yet, Aviv. We want to finish this season first. Uh, the winners of the giveaway, Owen, were Ariane and Ace Gamer 234 Uh, no, that, it wasn't on this channel. Oh, wow. As if that's gone in. That video wasn't on my Chesno Gaming channel. My t I didn't start my Chesno Gaming channel, channel until February 2013. The Paramore video went up on the channel that's... I think it's a channel that's called the same as my Gamertag. I can't remember. I've had like four YouTube channels. One of them was just, it wasn't a YouTube channel really, it was just, I had an account and I put two videos on my phone that I filmed and wanted to keep for future reference up. I've equalised again. And then another one was, um, you know, you know you can upload highlights from Football Manager, I did that on FM 11 just uploaded the highlights nothing else just the in-game highlights throughout an entire career and I had like 30 subscribers or something and then I started a different channel to do actual gameplay called Bang Average and then I had an issue with a network so I abandoned that channel and brought everybody or as many people as I could from that channel to this one and here I've been ever since the first video on on the chest if you go to my channel breaded auto if you go to my channel and then go to the videos tab you can sort by um, in the top right link at the top of the video so you can sort by date added you've got most popular date added newest and date added oldest my first video on the Chesno gaming channel was um, episode 11 of season 2 of a Sunderland career mode because I, I just switched I had to switch channels midway through the FIFA season. I think it was on FIFA 13. Pretty sure it's FIFA 13. Uh, don't get complacent, lads. Seems confused. Shut up, Lloyd. I know you've got a goal and two assists, but still, shut up. Why is full screen not full as advertised, and how do I change it back? How do you mean it, Green? Full screen on what? on FM, on your internet browser, on Twitch. My voice back then was exactly the same CCFC, it's just obviously 
back then I was on a crappy headphone mic and now I've got a proper microphone a professional microphone just your voice sounds different on a microphone than it or depending on what sort of microphone you're using the same way that people sound different on the phone to how they do in real life I want to make a change, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know it green on Twitch. I don't. I don't use it. I've just gone full screen and then exit full screen. I mean, it goes full screen and then comes back for me. We've scored again. It's four two. Sam Winnell. Like theatre mode. I don't know on Twitch, bro. Like it just goes in and out of full screen for me. Like if I hover over the the broadcast, you got the little like opposite arrows. It just says full screen. I click it and it goes to full screen. Watkins injured. Great. Stop with the injuries. What is it? Potential upper body injury. What's a potential upper body injury? I hope to go to a handful of Cambridge United games next season. Lloyd, yes. Four two win, I'll be honest, I didn't see that coming. After we went behind so early on. I didn't see that. That bumps us up into third. Oh look how tight it is for the playoff spots though, it's mad. I'll show you the league table. Uh, Swindon have secured a playoff spot. Well, Wigan are that far ahead. Well, Wigan really are that far ahead. 96 points. Cambridge have secured a playoff spot in League 2, though. Yes! Go on, the boys. Could yet get automatic promotion, but it's highly unlikely with two games to go. Wiley Watkins is out for four to five weeks with a broken rib. Not now. Not now, Marley. Why did Marley have to get injured now? He's been in decent form. Ah, shite, that doesn't do our playoff hopes any good, does it? Alright, so the league table currently looks like this. We're going to champions already. Plymouth have secured themselves a playoff spot. We could still catch them, but... It's four points with six available, so it's highly unlikely. With regards to playoffs, we are four four points. Well, to be fair, actually, we do look pretty solid for playoffs. We're four points clear. So the situation between us and the bottom of the playoffs is the same as us and Swindon in second. So we are four points inside the playoffs with two games to go, although one of those games is against Wigan. We've got Colchester next, who are fighting for survival, and they're four points off safety as well. 
So everything revolves around four points. Four points to get automatic between us and automatic promotion. We have four points in the playoffs and our next opponent with two games to go is four points from safety. So if Colchester do anything other than beat... If we draw or beat Colchester, they're relegated. If we draw with or beat Colchester, they're relegated. If we draw... If we draw with... No. If we beat Colchester... We're definitely assured a playoff spot. If we draw, it depends on Coventry's result. And if we lose, then it still depends on Coventry's result. But Bradford are too far behind. So, Barnsley, Walsall, Millwall, Sheffield United and Coventry, the five of us are vying for four playoff spots. I didn't realise that Sheffield United were where they were in the league. That win against them has actually taken us above them. We were on 74, they were on 75, and that win has taken us above Sheffield United. And Walsall drew, so it's taken us above them as well. And Coventry lost, which is obviously where the gaps come from. So we've got Colchester at home, followed by Wigan, I think, away. Uh, yeah, I'll vlog Cambridge United games next season. And if I go to a Chelsea game or two, I'll vlog that as well. That's the plan. I'll be vlogging the uh, British Grand Prix as well in July when I go to that. I'm not going to go on holiday in game, Will. I don't. I don't go on holiday in game. I never do that. Uh, sure, sure. I don't want to scout Wales. Mohammed Saeed. It's seventeen. Could be if his stats continue to improve. We need six points to guarantee a playoff place. Yeah, but technically. But we should do it without too much hassle. I will definitely do the Monaco Grand Prix uh, before I kick the bucket. Uh, yeah, I'm going with Kiz. I'm going with Kizzle Kicks to the British Grand Prix. Uh, we got tickets, just general admission tickets, so they were 130 or £140 pounds for the British Grand Prix, I think. His contract's expiring. I'll add him to the shortlist, actually. What's he, what's he reckon about him at striker? Yeah. Uh, Lewis Buxton at Rotherham. Supposedly a great right back. Yeah. He's not got much pace. Just got a donation, I'll check that in a second, but at least 32. I led him to the shortlist, but there's probably better options. Uh, we just got a donation of £2.50 from Anonymous. It says, here is a small donation. Thank you very much, uh, whoever you are, Anonymous. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Your parents don't believe you that you can make a living from YouTube or Twitch. Well, you can, so... <laughs> it's not the playing the games or the making of the content that gets you money, though. It's the ad revenue. Everything hinges on ad revenue. Works exactly the same as television. Views equal money. The end. Uh, 
Uh, Josh Scown was in Team of the Week, so was Lloyd Isgrove and Adam Davies and Nia Tanga and Mark Roberts. Bloody hell. Oh shit, Chelsea just won the title. Yes, Chelsea. They just won the BPL title with three games to go. Who do you think we are? Leicester? And now my best centre-back's out for three to four weeks with a chest injury. Why is this happening now? Just got another donation. Here we want. Here we want. Uh, Paul Jewell's starting on a coaching course. That's good. Let me check that donation real quick. I just want to see what what training I'm doing. I'm supposedly doing shooting training. Okay, cool. I was going to ask to go on a coaching course, but I can't. Uh, whoa, £35 donation from Tribo. It says, yo, love your videos, man. Been watching them for a long time now, and I enjoy every minute of them. So here's a donation of appreciation. For your hard work, keep it up and take care. Thank you very much, Turbo. That's very kind of you. I'm glad that you enjoy the content. Thank you for the donation. Smash the love hearts in the chat for uh, for Turbo. Smash the love for Turbo. Thank you very much, my man. Uh. Unfortunately, that is going to bring us to a close for tonight, though, because a I am busting for the toilet. And B, I haven't eaten yet, so I'm going to go make some dinner. We will play the final two games of the league season tomorrow, and probably the playoffs too. So you never know, at some point tomorrow night, the suit might be coming out for a playoff final. Maybe, just maybe. I will send you on a raid though, if you'd like to go on a raid, so bear with me and I'll send you, I'll send you over to someone else. But yeah, thank you for that donation, Tribo. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Uh, who else is streaming right now? Let's send you to... Pardon me. Woo! Let's send you to... This guy? Question mark? Are you English? Yes, he is English. Okay, I'll send you to this guy. Head on over to Mr. Barker123 and give him a cheeky Chesnoy gaming raid. But I'll be going live same time tomorrow, 8.45pm. So uh, feel free to uh, come back tomorrow. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter if you don't already. Follow me on Twitch if you don't already, obviously. And uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for more. Thank you very much for watching tonight, guys. Thank you for all the subscriptions, resubscriptions and donations as well it's all very kind of you but i'll be back tomorrow ta-ra